and welcome to the Pilates Show Mondays, outside the Pilates studio, where we take our Pilates brain and body out into the real world. I'm your host, Casey Marie Hurt, and today we're going to be talking about my nighttime detox pit paste. Now, I know that's a mouthful, but really what I like to do every night before I go to bed is really take care of my armpits. Now, that might sound rather uh, bizarre and peculiar, and in some ways it is, but if you think about the armpit, it's one of our main detox centers in our body, and it's really, really important that it remains clear and cleaned out so that that we can continue to um, really allow our lymph system to do its job while we're sleeping. If we use antiperspirants and um, that really clog the pores and use some, some um, ingredients that aren't so great for our body, what we're doing is we're just pretty much capping off where our body wants to just release the toxins. And so then the body just kind of recirculates it in the lymph system. Not very good for our immunity, not very good for our bodies. So what I do every evening before I go to bed is that I take my facial toner, which really you've seen in, a, in another Pilates show Monday, but it's apple cider vinegar and rose water, about half and half. I spray it on a few cotton pads and I clean out my armpits. Then from there, I take my nice little what I call pit paste here and it's just a, a little uh, glass jar and in it I got some coconut oil just your regular coconut oil here and I mixed in the essential oils of cedarwood cypress tea tree oil um, and and some purification by young living oils now those oils are really antiseptic, they're antimicrobial, and they're great at drawing out toxins. So I just take a little bit of this pit paste, put it underneath my underarms, rub it in a little bit, just to kind of do a little bit of self-massage, and then off I go to sleep, and I let my body do its natural detoxification process um, at the best time of the day, which is when you're slumbering. So uh, let me know how that goes for you. If you have any questions or observations, you can comment below on Facebook, Twitter, or a forum.